Man, I love that little intro. Brings back so much nostalgia, it's awesome. Seems a lot shorter than I remember though. Anyway, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome to the next installment of the Command and Conquer series. This time we're going to be playing the uh, Red Alert remaster. This one is a prequel to the Tiberian Dawn, if my memory serves me correctly. So the events in this game take place before GDI and Nod are a thing. And you get a bunch of new weapons to play with in this game. So there's boats, uh, submarines, planes, jeeps, dogs, possibly cats, who knows. Uh, rumor has it there's also an old lady in here somewhere swinging a handbag around, screaming at you to get off her lawn. So you can always look out for that one. But oh yes, and there's also some new super weapons in the game as well. So you've got like where you had the ion cannon and the nuke in Tiberian Dawn. In this one, uh, you get something called a chronosphere, which lets you teleport units around the map. And also there's something called a iron curtain, which makes buildings or things like tanks and that invulnerable for a short period of time. You can't use them on men though, because it will will end up killing them. But uh, anyway, let's crack on with the game. Now, I do plan on doing the same thing I did with Tiberian Dawn. So I will work my way through the campaign with one team. Then I'll work my way through the next campaign with the other team. Then I shall move on to the expansion missions for the Allied. And then the expansion missions for the Soviets. And then of course, obviously there is the hidden missions, which I believe you have to fight ants in this one rather than dinosaurs. So where the fun park missions are on Tiberian Dawn, there's some fun little secret missions that you got to figure out. I can't remember, though, off the top of my head, how you unlock them. So I will have to find that out. But yeah, we've got all those to do as well. So that's my plan. And let's crack on with the game. So obviously you got the Allies and you got the Soviets. Again, I'll do what I did last time. I'll play on the normal and I'll just go through it all on my own and play on the hard just so we can enjoy the story and stuff. The roles are a little bit reversed in this one. So like the Soviets who are the bad guys or Nod, if you want to call them that. Uh, they're now the ones with more like the big heavy units. So they're the ones with the mammoth tanks and the big rocket launchers and so on and so forth with the better base defenses um, and the allies which are the good guys or the GDI if you want to say they're now the ones with like the cheap units and rely on sabotage and stuff like that in order to get the missions done so we're going to start with the allies first Trinity New Mexico stop playing with that thing I've just got to adjust this Let's say Einstein. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Three guesses who that is. Herr Hitler. Yeah. Was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit hier rumzustehen. Ja. Ich verstehe. Oh, he went back in time and killed Hitler. Something I imagine quite a lot of people wish they could do. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later. Time will tell.
That's so awesome. I didn't know you get to watch it there as well. I am genuinely curious, though, how that would affect history if somebody did go back and kill Hitler. Remember in modern day with turn eight. Last transmission? Oh, 900 hours. Since then, nothing. Perhaps Einstein escaped? Too much to hope for, General. He would have contacted us by now. This is classified. I know. I sent for her. General von Essling, she is a civilian. That's why I don't get killed. Commander, this is Tanya Adams, a professional volunteer. She will Horns work on. with you on this mission. Somewhere inside this research center, the Soviets hold Albert Einstein. We need him back immediately. Get Tanya inside so she can get Einstein out. Once you have located him, bring him back to your drop-off point for immediate evacuation. Be careful. The base is heavily fortified, but not invincible. Their weakness is power. Black out the base and nothing will stop you. Good luck. Here's a what? Oh, that Tesla cools look so cool. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, it's Phil. You all right, Phil? Reinforcements have arrived. Girls on the distraction. Signal flare detected from the north. Protect Phil. Here's Einstein. Oh, sorry, Phil. Have arrived. <laughs> I tried, mate. Wait, is this it? What's that noise? Oh, mate, the boats are in. In force. Come on then, mate. Get in the airplane. Or helicopter, even. My airplane. Mission accomplished. Was that it? <laughs> that was, like, the hardest first mission I've ever done. Poor Phil. He did his best. So even though that only took me basically one minute to do, I still didn't do it with maximum efficiency. Well, I did it with maximum efficiency, but not maximum leadership. Where does this appear? That's neutral to the whole thing, huh? And this place here. I guess we go there next. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider supporting the channel by hitting that like button or dropping a sub. Of course, you don't have to. It's up to you. But it is free and it helps me out and helps my channel grow a little bit. And it is very greatly appreciated. Most of all though, as always, a massive thank you to those of you who are watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one.